What's up, sneakerheads? Today, we got to talk about what I consider one of the most slept on kicks, a Nike Classic and a badass bomber jacket. You're going to love this one. Yo, what's going on, family? Thanks for checking out the channel. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and comment below. This is going out to all my consumers, all my sneaker heads, all my fashion heads that don't just buy the heat heat, you know, that buy the regular shit, that buy the general release shit, and they know how to put stuff together. We're going to talk about one of my favorite uh, bomber jackets that I came across recently. Shout out to Extra Butter in New York City. They're a sneaker boutique that have been in the game since 2007, well over 10 years. They are legendary in this... Um, you know, in this fashion game, in this sneaker game. It is called the Extra Butter Hanya Jacket. Um, it's on sale right now online at $200, but here's what you do, okay? I waited to, well, this is, I got it during December, during the holidays. I got it for 40% off, so right now it's 200 I checked online, and they have the black in all sizes, okay? So if you get it, make sure to size up. They do run small, so I'm a, I'm a, I'm a small, so I got a medium. So if you're a large, then get extra large, you feel me? Anyway, I would wait for a sale. Okay, because they, they will go on sale, I think. Um, yeah, this is a really dope piece. Um, it's a full satin body, satin lining. It's got that implique embroidery that you're going to see. It's got a rib cuff. Um, the zipper quality is dope. It's got that logo branding on the chest. And the back embroidery, in case you're wondering, it translates to extra butter. Okay, and once again, make sure to size up. It is the extra butter Hanya bomber jacket. Check it out. <music> You know your favorite pair of jeans that you can always go back to? Something that lasts the test of time, that never go out of style? Yeah, that's what these kicks are all about, man. Shout out to Nike on the Air Max 1 anniversary. OG Reds, uh, they retail for $140. Um, they celebrated their 30th anniversary, of course, in 2017. Uh, they dropped for Air Max Day. They also restocked in last November. These, for me, are obviously kicks that will never go out of style, right? As a matter of fact, you should probably stock up and, and do two pair. The only thing with the Air Max 1s is that they get dirty, but they're so beautiful. You know what I mean? The perfect hits are red. Not too much, not too little. Um, it's got the classic air bubble. It is the essence of simplicity. You know what I mean? And simplicity is always going to last the test of time. That's all I got to say. As far as materials, you know the deal, man. New buck leather, the perfect blend of suede, the laces. Now, what you could do is maybe change up the laces. If you want to change it up a bit, maybe change it to, you know, like a red lace. If you want a little bit more red or maybe like a multicolored lace. But there's really nothing I would change about the, uh, about the Air Max 1. There's just so much history behind this shoe and so much consistency that that's why they don't change it, right? Anyway, check it out. So for me, I'll buy, you know, a general release shoe, something that isn't a Yeezy, you know, or a Jordan. It doesn't have to be that super heat for the shoe to be dope. It's all about, you know, like I like I mentioned, putting things together and highlighting, highlighting the kick. These are one of my favorite pair of shoes, and they were super slept on. And I'm not talking about price. I'm talking about the Kith non-native Adidas Consortium Twin Strikes. Not a lot of pairs were available from what I understand. Um, I got them for retail. Again, they retail for 220. You can get them for retail depending on your size. If you can find your size for retail, if you're patient about it, but I have seen them as high as, you know, $100, $150 on top. But again, it depends on your size. Again, if you wait, I'm very confident you can get them on the resale apps for retail. But when I say they're slept on, they don't seem very popular. And I'm thinking because, make sure to comment below. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think it's because the actual silhouette of the shoe, maybe just the twin strike model isn't that popular. I've read some some reviews where they say it's uncomfortable to actually put on. I don't really get that because I didn't have that problem. It's the Kith Non-Native Adidas Consortium Twin Strikes. Uh, they retail for 220. 
Let's go. And as always, family, thanks for checking out the Lesson Zero uh, podcast video, whatever you want to call it. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and comment below. In particular, comment below general release kicks, just like, you know, not just the heat kicks, you know. Comment below the kicks that you're a fan of or maybe, uh, you know, a shoe that I should check out that is maybe a miss, you know, that people kind of, you know, slept on. All right? Till next time. Mm -hmm.